Today we've come to Char Reservoir, early part of March, the weather's still cold, but the first thing you do when you get to a breeding venue like this is mix your grain bait. And today we're using Spotted Fin Go-To Range. We're gonna use Sweet Super Blend, and we're gonna use milled betaine pellets. Absolute perfect for this time of year. It mixes lovely and it can do everything I want it to do. I will make two mixes out of it. One I will keep really dry, which sometimes the bream sit mid-water and when the clouds go through the water, they follow it down. And other times I want my mix then to go straight to the bottom so they go straight to the bottom and feed. Also, I will be using some F1 pellets. We'll be soaking them so we'll get them nice and moist in that, and we're going to be putting them through the feeder and they got peaches and cream flavour which is absolutely lovely for the bream. So one bag of bee, milled betaine pellets, one bag of sweet super blend, mixing it 50-50 and I love to mix it, mix my mix with a whisk. I also like the flavour, the water, so I'll be, today we're using the green betaine sauce mix. So we're going to use a good bigger helping into the water. Like so. Mix it around. Put a bit in half the water. It's about two and a half pints into this mix. And whisk it up. Now we're going to leave this to settle now for about 10 minutes. So it, obviously the, you want all the moisture getting into the ground bait. So it makes it ideal for the, the bream. Today we've set up two rods, an open end feeder for most of my fishing here today, but sometimes you catch on a pellet feeder. So I've set up a 11 foot Garbolino Essential light feeder rod, which is absolutely perfect and forgiving for this. And I'm fishing Garbolino Super G new braid and it sinks like a stone. It's probably the best braid I've ever used. And the other setup on the other rod, I'll just show you quickly. It's just a normal pellet feeder where I'll be fishing a array of colour of different wafters. Sometimes you find here the bream just back up after you catch a few and sometimes just by going an extra couple of yards past with a pellet feeder you pick up the odd bream for the rest of the match. I've just fed the far line. I've, clip, I've clipped up today at about 45 metres. Both rods are on 45 metres. Initial feed I've put out has been 10 little feeder fools, three ho guru feeders and I've just put out just neat micro pallets and grain bait just to attract them there and then obviously when they turn up I can adjust what I feed there depending on what they want on the day. I'm going to start off on the open end feeder today um, putting on double red maggots to start with with a two foot hook, hook length tail just to see what happens then I can gauge how the day's going by what baits I'm fishing. long for 
first 10 minutes. Straight rain. The braid's very forgiving. You've got to use soft rods catching these big bream because they nod a bit. So just take your time with them. Like you say, they're big fish in here. They sort of average three to six, seven pounds. Coming in nice. Look at that. Today, the bites have been really, really finicky. The tip is hardly moving today, and, you, and I'm striking it the tiniest little indication. And I've had three bream by now, and they've all been hooked properly, but the, the indications is nothing. Even fish and braid, you know, is just minimal of a bite. Yeah, the way I fish, to tip fishing, is I strike at every single bite. A lot of people let the bites develop, but I've always struck at everything. I've had, you know, you're fishing braid, it should be good good indications, but sometimes the bream will just mouth in it and sit in there. Even though they're big bream, there's no bites registered, no method bites where it flies off the rod and stuff like that. It's sometimes on certain days, especially when it's cold and that, it's the most minimal, minimal indication. Strike at everything. Right, this has been really, really funny. Started off today on the open ender. Um, the bites were really finicky. I had half a dozen bream. So I've changed now to a pellet feeder, fishing yellow go-to wafters. And the bites are a lot more positive. And I'm getting more of a bung now, four to five pound bream. They're absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's made such a difference now. I was going from liners and little indications, little knocks and little tiny pulls, but I was coming back with nothing. And obviously I've changed now to a real positive rig and the bites are proper bites and proper fish. So happy days. We got four inch, four inch hair rig, quick stop on there um, with a size 16 hook and we're loading it up with go-to F1 pallets, which is, smells absolutely gorgeous to be fair, peach and creamy. Then we're um, putting the wafter in there and we're just capping it off with a little bit of ground bait just for a bit of smell and attraction. Mega day on the feeder at Char is normal. Caught 10 bream in a couple of hours. We've had to keep swapping and changing today to make things happen. But as always, bream heaven, isn't it? Today, the bites were really finicky on the uh, normal feeder to start with. I caught four early and then I got indications, but no, no fish. So a quick change to the pellet feeder and a yellow wafter resulted in two or three quick more fish later on that died again so I went back on the feeder and caught a couple more in the end as well so just by keep swapping and changing to keep the fish going